Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Space Engineers, and we're kicking off the start of our Death Star. Now, what you're going to see in this video is not very much, um, but I wanted to at least give you some kind of update as to where I am. So, as far as making the frame, the circle, and all of that, it has been a pain. So I tried doing uh, the circle on my own. Usually ended up into some kind of square looking circle-esque kind of thing. So it didn't work. Um, so finally I looked up online and there is a generator that you can find that will generate an 8-bit um, circle based off of the radius so i ended up using that and was able to get the circle finally made in the game and whenever you see me shift from the uh the center post all the way up to the top post uh i think that's where i went wrong because once i completed this i had um two circles uh on the same plane going all the way around and it would not allow me to go on the X or Y axis. I was on the Z axis, but it wouldn't allow me to go to X on the, or to the X and Y. So, had to destroy this. Um, I made a blueprint, though, of the circle, of the, uh, the arc, uh, is what I called it, the 400, um, the, the 400 block arc. So... The size of the Death Star that I'm making is smaller than I, what I originally said I was going to make because after talking to several people and one individual in particular about this, they advised that the Death Star was actually 80% smaller than Earth. And if you take that and you take the size of a planet in uh, Space Engineers, take 80% the size... Then you come up with a radius of around 80, or, or I'm sorry, 800. So that's what we're doing is we're uh, 400 radius, 800 diameter. Actually, that's that's the true, true way to say it. <laughs> I said it wrong the first time. So I had to delete this, remade it, had a problem again, deleted it, and remade it. One thing I did have a problem with is asteroids. I cannot get astral bodies to stay out of my game. I don't know if there's an option that I'm not seeing. Please let me know because every time I log into the game, there is an asteroid that is right in the center of my Death Star. And if, um, if I get the thing to a point where I'm actually working in that area, like I've made several floors... And it explodes because <laughs> that asteroid is going to spawn there again. Um, I, I don't know what to do about it. So if you guys have some information, please let me know. So once I was able to get the circle uh, to work on X, Y, and Z axes, I then started working on the trench uh, on the equator and was able to build the wall on half of the Death Star. So... That's it. That's all I got done today. It took me about six hours to get to that point. And um, I'm only going to do one half of the Death Star as far as the skin goes. Uh, because on the center of the Death Star, uh, I'm going to work on the blueprints that, that they have as far as the cutaways of the center of the Death Star. And I'm going to work f through that. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back and uh, make those um, rounded or however they are supposed to be, spherical or whatever it is. And then from there, we'll go ahead and go on to um, start laying out the floors. But pretty much that's it. That's where I am today. I'm sorry it's not more, but whenever you figure that you're... You're dealing with the amount of space that I'm dealing with. And this isn't even the full size version. <laughs> it's it's going to take me some time. Now I was advised that there uh, there is another way that I can move about in the game. But uh, for what I was doing, maybe I was just too stubborn and just didn't do it that way. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.